Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about all of the facial oils offered by The Ordinary. I'm gonna go through each one and we're gonna talk about, you know, the benefits, whether you should use them alone or like in combination or diluted with something else. And then also just the texture, the finish, the absorbency and all of that stuff. So if you want to walk through all of The Ordinary facial oils with me, then just keep watching. And The Ordinary is having like a great sale on right now. I think it's 23% off for like the rest of the month. Oh, this is not a sponsored video by the way, but it's a great time to restock on all your Ordinary products. And if you are interested in any of the oils that we're gonna talk about, it's a good time to get those. Okay, so the first one that we're gonna talk about is the Squalane. Now Squalane is just a super star of an oil. It's completely clear, you can see that there. I'm just gonna put a couple drops on the back of my hand here. So they have two different types of squalane. They've got the 100% squalane and then the hemi squalane. Now squalane is so good because we naturally in our cells have this molecule called squalene and it makes up kind of the a fatty portion of our skin uh, cells. And this is just really, really good at hydration and it sinks in like right away. Now, the difference between squalane and the hemisqualane is actually the hemisqualane will absorb in your skin even faster. Um, so you do have, if you do have oily skin, you might want to opt for the hemisqualane, but I mean, they're great, both the squalane and the hemisqualane are great for both skin types. 100% um, non-commodogenic, it's not gonna break you out, and it's really, really good for hydration of the skin and moisturizing the skin, so it is a really nice step to do. I like to apply my oils after all of my serums right before a moisturizer, just a little bit on top, and then uh, squalene is a really nice one to do facial massage with as well, um, but it does absorb pretty quickly compared to some of the other plant oils that we're gonna talk about, but yes, if you do not have a bottle of squalene, you need to get that in your life because it's just so good. Um, so definitely the squalane and the hemi squalane. So yeah, this is the hemi squalane. Let me just give you a couple of notes on the texture. So this one is almost even a thinner consistency um, and it feels really, really, really light on the skin. It's very thin consistency and it absorbs in even faster. Yeah, just like I mentioned before. But yeah, they're both lovely. Everyone needs a little bit of squalene in their life, that's for sure. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about rosehip oil and this one is just a really great antioxidant oil. It's really high in vitamin E. It's really high in free fatty acids that are really great for your skin. Let me just show you the color. It is this golden amber color. So it is, um, yeah, it is a thicker oil, but it does absorb into the skin right away. Now this is one that's really great for use on the body. And this is one that you probably want to dilute um, to about 10%. So let's say if you were going to, and I am going to talk about this like throughout the video, like make your own facial oil out of the oils here. This is one that you'd want to dilute with another carrier oil. Um, such as grapeseed oil or even like an argan oil or something. Rosehip oil is very potent and very strong and um, you don't really need that much to have like a lot of benefits. Where you could use it totally alone is if you do have, um, if you're pregnant and you're getting stretch marks or you have any scars or anything like that, you can totally use it undiluted on that area. Um, and really you can use it undiluted anywhere in the body, but you could just also dilute it and get very, very similar effects. So rosehip oil is one that I would dilute um, unless I am using it on like an incision. Like I have, I had a C-section, so I like to just put it on my scar line, um, just totally undiluted to just kind of help keep that area moisturized and provide some antioxidants and fatty acids just to help my skin heal a little bit more. Um, you can also use it on stretch marks. That's kind of like an old wives tale. Um, using it on stretch marks and stuff so that that is one that's really great for the body really great for your skin too um, especially like aging skin or older skin types if you do have acne prone skin I would avoid this on your face because it can actually break you out um, it's it's just known to be a little bit commodogenic so if you do have acne prone skin I would avoid this on your face but you can still use it on the body oh and just on the scent of it um, because it is like just an unrefined plant oil it does have a bit of not a fishy scent but it does have omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids which do have that more kind of natural smelling um, oily fish oil smell almost but really really healthy for the skin really excellent to have those free fatty acids in there and then of course the really high vitamin E content so just really great for your skin. 
Okay, next we're talking about marula oil. So marula oil comes from the seeds from a tree that I think comes from Africa. And it is really known for um, almost having like a squalling like effect, like really great for providing suppleness, hydration and softness into the skin. It is like this really pale color. And it doesn't really have a strong scent. But it is a thicker oil and yeah it absorbs easily into the skin and it does leave like a silky finish on the skin versus like the squalane and the rosehip just leave your skin like with no sensation at all this one leaves it with like a really nice silky feeling it's not like an oily feeling it is more like a silky satiny um finish but it does absorb easily into the skin wow my, my hands are gonna be just loving me after this with all oils um, but it is really high in uh, free fatty acids and then also um, antioxidants. And what's cool about this oil is unlike the like the rosehip oil, it, it can oxidize in formulations easily. Um, and all of the bottles that they provide help with that because they are UV resistant, um, those dark amber bottles. But this marula oil is really like stable and it doesn't oxidize very easily. So a lot of cosmetics are made with this because when you put it into a lotion and stuff and it gets all aerated and everything and exposed to a lot of oxygen, um, oils can go bad, but this one is very, very stable. So that's why it's used in a lot of cosmetics. And this, this oil is really, really nice even just to apply on your lips as a lip oil and it's really nice for your hair too. So you can do a scalp treatment with it, you can put it on your ends. Um, so marula oil is just a really nice one to have around for like multi-purpose, multi-use. And it, it's, it's not commodogenic either, so it's not gonna break you out. But it's a very nice one, especially for the winter time. It makes your skin so supple, so soft, great for your hair. Um, you can use it as like a cuticle treatment and um, really nice on the lips too. And it has like a really nice, it feels like a lip oil, like a formulated lip oil actually, because it has this thicker quality to it. It's not super thin, but it leaves your lips feeling like very silky and smooth. So really nice as even just a lip oil, really. Okay, now we're on to the very, very popular argan oil. Now this comes from the seeds from a tree from Morocco. Um, and this is, I think this got really famous from that brand, the, what is it called, Moroccan oil or whatever, the blue, the blue bottles. Anyway, so this one is really, really great. It's just a light, light yellow color. This one has a very strong scent. It's like a very nutty scent. Um, I don't mind it at all, but it is uh, definitely has the strongest fragrance of any of the ones that we've talked about so far. So argan oil is really high in antioxidants, vitamin E, carotenes, which are also antioxidants and essential fatty acids. So this is a really nice kind of like anti-aging one and it is mostly like really popular for use in the hair. It makes your hair very soft and shiny um, and healthy looking. So this one's great. Now this one does leave a bit of an oily finish on your skin. So this is another one that you might want to like, I would dilute this and put a couple of drops in with a moisturizer, or this is a really great one to do facial massage because it does stay oily and it's not gonna absorb in. So you can do like a 20 minute facial massage and just kind of keep going. But yeah, it has like a very strong uh, fragrance to it, like a very kind of nutty scent but again just a really really nice one to be using on your hair on your skin on your nails everywhere okay now we are talking about barrage seed oil now the, the barrage plant is a nice blue flower and these come from the seeds um and they're really high in gamma linoleic acid which is so good for your skin um and this also has you know a lot of essential fatty acids vitamins minerals antioxidants all of that good stuff so this is kind of like a powerhouse one this one, I would definitely say, like, if you're going to get one antioxidant oil, this is a really, really cool one. It has a very pale color. It does have a fragrance, but it's more of a planty, seedy uh, scent versus, like, the argan was really nutty. And this one definitely does leave an oily residue on the skin, so another really nice one to do facial massage with. Um, and so it's often added as like a supporting oil. So kind of like the rosehip oil where people only use, really use it up to 10% um, because then you can, so you can even see like it just, do you see the oil on my skin? It is really, really oily and it doesn't really dry down too much. Um, so it is a really nice one for facial oil or if you add like a couple of drops to a moisturizer or if you do make your own facial oil, you can use it up to 10% basically without having a oily residue if you mix it with 
another oil that's not so oily um, but just yeah a really really lovely one and definitely one that is just so good for all skin types especially if you do have really dry skin then you're definitely gonna enjoy the barrage oil now weirdly enough barrage oil is not recommended for use during pregnancy so that's just something to think about I'm not really sure why but in aromatherapy um, you're just taught that people that are pregnant should not use barrage oil so there you go just thought I'd share that tidbit I'm not I really don't know why and I didn't look it up but um, I just know that that's a thing now we're talking about sea buckthorn fruit oil now this one can stain like everything stain sheets stain your clothes so be very careful when you handle it and this is one that you definitely want to dilute um, because look at the color it could it can't even stain your face temporarily so it is this like bright red color now I'm gonna just apply it undiluted to show you but this is um, a different kind of extract actually. It's usually carbon dioxide extracted instead of like cold pressed. But yeah, this is <laughs> this is one that you definitely want to dilute um, before applying it. Look at that color, that is insane. So yes, now I've just turned my whole hand orange. But this one, as you can see from the color, really high in like carot carotenes, carotenoids, um, really high in antioxidants. It does have essential fatty acids in there and it does have vitamin E. Now it has um, it has a really musky scent and it kind of smells like the fruit of sea buckthorn for sure because it comes from the fruit, but it is kind of really musky. Um, not something that you really want to smell like, but obviously has really great skin benefits. It is also really high in vitamin C. So you can add this to um, a moisturizer or you can add it with a few other drops diluted down in a facial oil. And I mean, you can use it up to 10% in an oil without having without having this like staining effect but yeah that's crazy so yeah this color is coming from um the natural vitamin c and then it's also coming from the the carotenes the beta carotene and then the vitamin e so it's really really strong color but um really great for your skin so definitely one that you could use but you definitely want to use it diluted because i don't think you want to look like this that's one that you definitely want to use diluted um in a moisturizer or a facial oil and not use it on its own and that one I would not I mean I don't think you need to use it in your hair I don't think there's any reason for that I think really the best use is for your skin oh my hands feel so nice now <laughs> just so many oils okay and then uh, we've got two more oils and then we're out of here okay so now we are talking about chia seed oil now this is really high in omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids and it kind of have a, has this like perfect balance of both so this is really great for um, like extreme moisturization of the skin it has a lot of phytonutrients in there the color is like a golden color so it's full of antioxidants and phytonutrients it does leave a little bit of an oily finish on the skin but I mean if you have dry skin or you have more mature skin you're really gonna like the chia seed oil um, it's really known for kind of moisturizing benefits and helping with transepidermal water loss and really good for aging um, like anti-aging properties so if you have dry skin or mature skin, I definitely recommend the chia seed oil. And this is one that you can just use on its own. This would also be a really nice one for facial oils. I mean, for facial massage because it does have like good slip and glide and it's going to stay oily a little bit. So you could do like a 20 minute facial uh, massage with this one. Oh, and it has like a, I don't know, it has like a seedy scent. I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah, it's a kind of like a mild nutty scent, but it's not bothersome at all. It's less intense than the argan oil. Okay, and then last but not least, um, I want to talk about their bee oil. I absolutely love this one. I've been using it a ton. So it's green because they've put microalgae into oil. And so this one is really cool, really nice consistency. This one does not leave your skin feeling oily at all. It feels really like satin and silky and I've been using it every single day and I just love it. Like I think if you're gonna get one oil, definitely you could do the Squalane and then the bee oil is like amazing. So I just wanna tell you what it, it contains. So it has the microalgae in a blend of Squalane and oils of Marula, Argan, Baobab, Patua, Brazil Nut, Inky Inchi, Rosehip and Barrage to support healthy skin. Uh, yeah, and it does have a little bit of an herbal scent. So what I love about this is it's like a pre-made facial oil that you can use. Um, the great thing about 
these bottles is you can reuse them for other oils. So let's say you get like a squalane bottle and then you use it all. I would just keep it because then you can get a couple, couple other oils and make your own facial oils, mix them all together. You can also get these little bottles on, yeah, Amazon has a ton, um, so you can make your own facial oils. Mix all these different combos together, mix all the really powerful ones with a bit of a carrier oil like squalane, um, and just kind of play and have fun with them. I mean, I love facial oils. I love I always apply a facial oil, especially in the winter, because I need that extra moisture. Um, I help it actually. I find it actually helps my moisturizer sink into my skin a little bit better. Like if I've just used a bunch of water-based serums, I like to put a little bit of oil on top before my moisturizer, and then I just help that it, it helps just set my moisturizer into place um, instead of it like feeling like it's slipping all over the place when I'm applying it. So I always do like cleanse, water-based serums, a little bit of oil, and then a moisturizer. And it just helps keep your skin nice and moisturized and healthy and happy and supple. Um, so I love facial oils. I love doing facial massage as well. I have a whole video on how I do facial massage. I will try and find it and link it up here. It's pretty old. Um, but yeah, that is all the facial oils from The Ordinary. And they are all on sale right now. So now's a good time to explore and have fun and, you know, discover your little favorite combination of facial oils. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it's been a while since I filmed, but I'm back and I'm doing videos and yeah. All right, I will see you guys in my next video.